Thank you for calling the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, New York Division. This call may be monitored or recorded. Please listen to this message in its entirety. Para Español, oprime el 7. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you are calling to report an internet crime, please go to www.ic3.gov. If you are calling to report a federal crime, please press 3. If you would like to speak to an operator, please press 6. Okay. Yes, good morning. I, uh, I'm trying to find out. I have a uh, situation online. Uh, I'm an, inter, uh, an investigative reporter online, and I have what appears to be an irate uh, person kind of stalking me through emails and uh, uh, very, very bizarre interactions with other people and uh, a series of, uh, def you know, deflammatory uh, videos uh, directed at me in a threatening way. So what, what, do, I, what do I do about it? Hey, one moment, sure. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for calling the FBI. This is not a 911 service for taking emergency calls. For emergencies, please call 911. Si usted desea escuchar este mensaje en español, por favor oprima el número uno. In a few moments, you will be connected to an operator. This call will be recorded for quality assurance investigative or other purposes. If you do not wish to be recorded, please hang up and submit your tip online at tips.fbi.gov. During this call, you will be asked to provide identifying information about yourself and or the persons about whom you are calling. We use this information to assist in investigating your tip. You do not have to provide your name or other personal information. However, the lack of information may delay or hurt our ability to investigate your tip. Any information you provide may be used for authorized purposes. To report a suspicious email, hacked email, internet scam, or ID theft, press 1. To report a tip about a threat to human life, serious bodily injury, or significant Thank you for contacting us. Your selected category will need to be completed online at the website www.ic3.gov. This government website handles all complaints and tips to include suspicious email, hacked emails, internet scams, or ID theft. On this website, you will also find more information about internet-related crimes and further information to best assist you. Once again, visit www.ic3.gov. Thank you for contacting us. Your selected category will need to be completed online at the... Hmm, let's try again. Let's try again. Thank you for calling the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, New York Division. This call may be monitored or recorded. Please listen to this. Okay. Yes, I, I got misdirected uh, with my last call. I'm trying to report a uh, potential threatening situation online, and I was panned to some website. Is there anybody I could talk to? Who do I? How do I? How do I get somebody on the phone to okay. take my complaint right now? Hello. Duty agent. Yes, hi. I have uh, I have a situation. I'm an investigative reporter here in New York, and uh, I covered a I covered a lawsuit. What that I thought, you know, I gave my opinion on a lawsuit, a publicly uh, 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 judge's summary judgment, and I have what appears to be an irate um, an irate plaintiff. Uh, you know, contacting me, making, you know, frivolous videos on YouTube, you know, deflammatory. Some of it is parody. He's a public figure, so, uh, and so am I. So I'm a big boy. I could take that. But he now seems to be uh, escalating it uh, off offline. He's 
you know, he's threatening lawsuits. That's fine. You can make your complaint. But he's also, he's sending bogus information to um, authorities. He's sending it to what appears to be the FBI. He's sending information to something in Texas. He's sending to the um, ICFBI.gov. He's sending to the H DHS government authorities, right? So he's trying to say that somehow I'm obstructing justice, right? So he's he's basically the the gentleman is on a smear campaign through email. Uh, his case is being heard in the Southern District of New York. Where are you still there? Are you listening to this? Is okay? No, I'm listening to all all thank, of it. Sir. Thank thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, he he uh, is. The summary judgment from the judge, this is a frivolous dispute between two litigants whose voluminous court filings rehash their incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracy theories. So basically the judge is, is concluding that he's a conspiracy theorist, right? And that's how I reported it. So he is now irate. He's he's threatening lawsuits. And again, that's that's all fine. But he also... Is he threatening you, sir? He, well, he's threatened, well, not physically, not yet, but he, he has the association, right? He has this other character. Now, this is a loose, a loose association, but they seem to be, one of, his, one of his associates is attacking me as well through email. He's sending unwanted, unsolicited email with threatening, you know, conspiracy theories, crazy nonsense. But here's the problem. This individual... Uh, based on a a uh, pretty much verified, I'm not sure you would be able to verify more than I would, but a, uh, a, a he has a, a rap sheet of felony uh, stalking, felony stalking convictions. I could send all this to you. I have all the the documents. Um, you know, he, there's a well, a couple other ones. I don't know. Fel two. I see two felony uh, stalking charges from one from 2011. And another one appears to be, I don't, I don't know where the other one, 2013 maybe. Also, misdemeanor drug charges, a uh, couple of DW, DUIs or DWIs, whatever. But the point is that this individual that is um, also stalking, right, is, uh, you know, harassing me through email, is also has this record is what I'm trying to say. So this is, it, it's bizarre, right? It's a bizarre twist. And, um, you know, again, the individual has been told, both of them have been told, don't contact me anymore, don't talk to me, don't send emails, don't make stupid videos about me. But they continue to do it. And the swaggered guy, the, 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 the guy that I'm calling you to tell about his, uh, about these bizarre emails that he's now... And where does everything take place? Does it take place in New York? Well, it, I don't know. The, the, both plaintiffs appear, both of these characters appear to be in California. I'm in New York. Uh, so they're they're violating me here in New York again. YouTube, uh, just a YouTube journalist, right? Some of the I've made some videos about him. It's par It's mostly parody, you know. It's mostly you know comical, or whatever. But uh, but, he, but it hasn't crossed the line where there's a dead cat on your door. Your kids have been harassed or kidnapped. You know, nothing like that, right? At this time, no. But what it okay? At, at this time, no. It just seems to be all online discourse. But now the other, I mean, listen, if someone is sending, sending emails around, I don't know, you, that's why I'm asking you. If someone is sending emails around saying that you're, you're some kind of, uh, you know, obstructing justice and, uh, you know, and uh, you, you have these. At, at what point yeah. is it freedom of the press and at what, another point where it's harassment? Right. I'm just trying to figure it out because yeah. if he doesn't threaten you, yeah. that's just his opinion. Yeah, I know. I get it. My opinion versus his opinion. So he's he's within his rights to send his opinion to all of these other agencies, despite... Uh, I, I mean, we haven't contacted you, right? And we haven't no. said, hey, we want to talk to you about this, right? We're, no, we're, no, no. we're saying it's nonsense. Right, right. It is or nonsense. We're, not, we're just uh, uh, ignoring it. Right. I had... Let me ask you this as well. I had sent, um, I had sent an email to the judge in this case... Right, because again, he's he's harassing me. He's making parody. In in the lawsuit, he's saying that he's the victim of some sort of harassment from a from from somebody else. This Jason Goodman guy, right? 
and he's then he's so he's saying that he's the victim, but he's actually the predator in many situations. I've documented about six different people that have uh, experienced this kind of attack from this individual. Right? Sorry, and, are you going to go online and attack him, or are you just going to lie low? Well, I don't know. It depends on how you define attack. I mean, I can talk about my job as an investigative journalist is to talk about the situation to protect others. Mm -hmm. right? That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm a whistleblower. You know? I'm just telling because he's stalking people uh, other than you know journalists. He's stalking other people online in the same way that I can gather. So, so that's all. I'm just, I mean, I'd like to f make a complaint or at least bring it to the attention I brought it to the attention of his uh, judge, the federal judge that's presiding over this case, that he's, uh, he's, he's actually the opposite of what he says he is. He's actually, you know, a predator of sorts online, and, um, but he pretends to be the victim, right? So I brought that to the attention of the federal judge, so hopefully she'll consider it in the case, you know, as an as a intervener. Uh, so, so what else can I tell you about this? Is there any... There is no, right, you're, I hear what you're saying. There is no dead cat on the door yet. Uh, I mean, I, I think yeah. that until it hits that level, you just have to deal with it. Until it, right. it okay. crosses that threshold. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, right. so could, I, could, I, um, could I at least leave you my name and information so that I can document this report? Because you haven't taken my information yet. Well, I could send you to the people that, that take complaints. Yeah, yeah. All right. All okay, right. I'll what's your, you the what, phone, what's your What's your name, by the way? I'm just curious. I'm the duty agent. The duty agent. What's your name, duty agent? Well, we don't give it out. Okay, because, fine. Because New York gets a plethora All right. of emotionally disturbed people that continuously call us. I got you. Much in the same manner that, that you're being harassed. Right, right, right. So, right. so we're not online. We're, we pick up this phone. So it does. Try does to it help people the best we can? Let me ask you this: Does it? When does it uh, pass? When does it uh, raise the to the threshold of? You use the word harassment. When is it harassment? I don't know. Hmm. But I would say that it's more than just a verbal disagreement right. or a contention of issues. It's when it becomes a physical uh, right. demonstration. Of, uh, right, right. Right, even, okay. All right, all right, very okay. good. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Very, very helpful. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, so we just talked to the FBI. You heard that shit, right? So we're trying to, we're trying to get Mr. Acton, Mr. David George Schwaggert. So he hasn't broken a law yet, right? He's just sending out emails. He's sending out all these crazy emails to people. Fucking nut job, man, right? See this shit? I don't know, 16 emails. Mr. Conti, uh, federal corrupt sent to an uh, attempt to influence, obstruct, impede. Right. Guy's on a, uh, guy's a kook, right? So, uh, so Mr. Acton, wow, you're really, you're really showing your colors here. You're so disgruntled. Your brother hates you. <laughs> you hate your brother. So we're going to leave you alone, Mr. Acton. And uh, if you'd like, if you'd like to be left alone, we can do that for you. We could leave you alone, Mr. Acton, and uh, all your crazy friends, if you'd like to. And uh, that would be the end of it. That would be the end of it, if you'd like it. But if you're going to keep stepping it up, we're going to track you down. We're going to keep following you around and report you to the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation here in New York. You heard it right here live. Mr. Acton is now on the radar, is now on the radar. Oh, boy. Marcus Conte reporting.